Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday, fun day, or day 20 of our shadow work challenge. Because it's day 20, and because this is a 30-day challenge, you are now two-thirds of the way through the channel. You are literally so close to the finish, finish line. I'm sure you can taste it. And I am so, 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 so proud of you. Yesterday, of course, we, we did self-study Saturday with the practice of Reiki. And of course, with this, we are combining the practice of Reiki with the study of the chakra system you did um, sat last Saturday and the dosha system you did the Saturday before that, the first Saturday. So I'm hoping that all of these self-study Saturdays are giving you more of an idea of the subtle body and the power of the subtle body. Because once you become in touch with a subtle body, the more you're able to align yourself with your own intuition and your own gut feelings, and you start to understand and, and deconstruct that false sense of self, which is the crux of man's suffering anyway. And so let's go ahead and look at the challenge board for today and this upcoming and Monday and tomorrow for this upcoming week, because we do have a pretty big week ahead of us because we have, we have Thanksgiving here in the United States. And if you saw the video yesterday, I'm inviting all of our friends in other countries to participate in Thanksgiving with us. Even if you can't participate in Thanksgiving with us this Thursday, I hope that you will use this opportunity to observe how to handle a holiday when you're doing shadow work because shadow work as you guys know it's even though i said you're two thirds of the way through this this is really like a whole life practice right maybe just not as intense when you're actually in a challenge but it's a whole life practice so here we are on sunday november 20th you are two thirds of the way through your challenge the hardest part is finished you got this the hardest part is starting the hardest part is always the beginning it's always starting again you didn't come this far to only come this far please note that for the americans we have we are coming up on a week of thanksgiving there will be some changes in the regular challenges due to the holiday this is a great practice in flexibility in life and a great practice in getting back to work once the holiday is passed for those who are not americans i invite you to participate in thanksgiving with us if you're not an american find a friend or two to have dinner with on thursday night november 24th Either invite them over to your house for dinner or find a restaurant to go to with them. Make this Thursday a day of enjoyment and fellowship. Make your bed up. Your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. This allows you your digestive system at least 12 hours of rest between dinner and breakfast. Sunday, fun day. You're back to dancing with sweating to the oldies with Richard Simmons. Again, yesterday on uh, Saturday, we talked a lot about Richard Simmons. Oh, oh, excuse me. That's today. That wasn't yesterday. Yesterday was Reiki. Getting my days mixed up. All right. So after you do the sweat into the oldies, you're going to do some Reiki meditations with Emmy from her channel. All right. So you got your food, food journal. And then for today, again, did you know that Richard Simmons was born with a foot deformity? With that being said, he went on to be one of the most influential people in the exercise industry. He had every excuse not to embark on the life he embarked on, but he continued anyway. He changed so many people's lives by helping them help themselves. What are your thoughts on that? Is there a health issue you've struggled with and perhaps used as an excuse not to exercise? Has your perception on yourself changed since starting this journey? How do you view exercise now? How do you view, view your body now? Can you take a moment to thank your body for the gifts it's given you, including the hard stuff? How has the hard stuff in your body allowed you to grow? Do you notice changes in your body? Are you stronger? Does your skin look better? Do you have more confidence? What has surprised you the most in the last 20 days of this journey? What was the one thing you thought you would hate but now love? So far, what is your favorite exercise program and why? How has not eating after 7 p.m. affected you? Are you sleeping better? Are you noticing a deep, deep, a better digestive system? How do you feel in the morning when you wake up after fasting for 12 energies, uh, 12 hours more energy? And so I really want to focus this with Richard Simmons because that's one of the reasons why I picked him. I get, I mean, I have heard literally every excuse under the sun. I mean, literally every excuse under the sun. And there is literally no excuse. There is zero excuse to not be using exercise as a modality for changing your body if you're on your period or if you have a fever fever and so i'm hoping by looking at richard simmons you're going to see that if you're using your health issues as an excuse not to exercise and you're kind of missing the point of what these health issues are they're just they're just resistance in your body for you to work through they're just opportunities for you to heal certain about your a certain something about your psyche and so i'm hoping that throughout this this uh challenge you've kind of noticed that that health issues are not you're not a victim to your health. 
Your health is something that your soul designed for you to have that resistance, to have that friction. And it's something that can be healed by you. And so I'm hoping that by understanding that Richard Simmons was born with a foot deformity and ended up becoming like a jazzercise exercise teacher, an aerobic exercise teacher. Wow, that's so inspirational, right? And if he can do it, anyone can do it. If I can do it, anyone can do it, right? All right. So coming into Monday, November 21st, make your bed up. Your last meal should be between 5 and 7 p.m. No snacking after 7 p.m. This allows, again, your digestive system at least 12 hours of rest between dinner and breakfast. For two days exercise, you pick from all the exercise videos we've done up to this point. You get to pick between bar, yoga, kickboxing, and dance. Is there one that you really want, like? How about the one that is really hard for you, but you want to try again anyway? So as I keep saying, the one that triggers you the most, the one that pisses you off the most, that's the one you should be doing. All right. Okay. You have the five minute cold shower, all meditation, food journal, and then your, your journal for tomorrow. What exercise do you pick? Why? What about this particular exercise video really resonates with you? What are you learning about yourself from this particular video? List five things you like about yourself. List five things you are grateful for today. How are you processing all the heavy work from the week before? Is new stuff coming up for you? If so, what is it? Are you finding it easier to lean into uncomfortable feelings? How does pain, emotion, or physical bring us to a place of honesty and healing? How is pain necessary for us to grow? Describe in your own words the concept of descending in order to ascend. So we talk about that a lot. A lot. So are you starting to understand the idea of descending into yourself before you can ever ascend? Are you starting to have more revelations about why that is true? You can't ascend. You absolutely cannot ascend unless you descend first. Okay. Look through people in the eyes and smile. And then once again, you're turning off all your electronics one hour before bed. Instead, read a book or write more in your journal. Go to bed before 10 p.m. All right. Typical, typical evening routines. All right. And once again, we are coming up to Thanksgiving week. And you're going to see as we get into the week, the changes that I've made and tweaked to accommodate Thanksgiving. And I do hope that our friends in other countries will join us in celebrating this Thanksgiving, create that, that those dinner parties with some friends and be able to fellowship and enjoy laughing and having a good and sharing a meal, breaking bread with people that you care about in your, your life. I also want to ask for the Americans out there. Are you triggered by Thanksgiving? Are you stressing out about Thanksgiving? Is there something about Thanksgiving that 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 triggers you? Are you worried about sitting around at dinner table with family that maybe doesn't doesn't share your same views? For everybody else who doesn't celebrate Thanksgiving, are you starting to worry about Christmas? What what triggers are coming up for you during this time? And, and can you see these triggers not as necessarily bad things, but as opportunities? They're opportunities. For you to learn more about yourself, as Ram Das says, if you think you're so enlightened, go split, spend a week with your family. All right, guys, let me know how you're doing down in the comment section below. Also, later today at 2 o'clock Eastern time, we're going to be doing our first yoga online intensive with the group that's doing it this time. I'm so excited. I can't wait, wait to meet you guys on the Zoom and work with you guys through the yoga. Uh, starting tomorrow, our website will be updated. So the next yoga online intensive will start on January the 8th, and you will be able to book that starting tomorrow, Monday, November 21st. All right, you guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.